everybody, how's it going? Um, so basically, I'm going to do a valve job on the truck, hopefully tonight. Um, but I know when I get it apart, the intake, all, everything inside, the heads, everything's going to be very dirty, built up with carbon. I don't have a parts washer. So I went around to Harbor Freight, started looking around at pressure washers and stuff, and I noticed they actually sell the actual parts washing bin. It has a small submersible pump, a hose with a pressure nozzle. They want $70 for it. So I noticed it's just one of their cheap Pacific Hydro Star pumps. So I bought the pump for $6. I decided to make a video to try and, uh, you know, make some uh, special bits, you know, or, uh, high pressure bits or nozzles or whatever for a piece of hose, do something like that. Walking around looking to see if they have any hose, I noticed they have mini vacuum attachments comes with a hose so I'm thinking there's a brush that fits on there also um, this may work better than actually making the actual pressure nozzles so we'll actually uh, we'll see how that goes all right so another reason why I really don't want to buy a complete parts washing bin or something it's not on a table it doesn't have a stand legs or anything I don't have a lot of room on the workbench I already have a wash basin here in the garage with hot water. So we'll go ahead and see if this works. All right, there we go. Pressure washer. Has an adjustable valve on the pump itself. Suction cups to suction to the base of the sink. A few different attachments. Figure that'll produce some good pressure. Um, a brush built in, you know, that's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, let's see how it works. So, it's not a whole lot of pressure, but, I mean, if you put your finger over it, it increases the pressure enough that, with a really good solvent, I think that it may work. Uh, I may go back and try and get a bigger pump, because, I mean, it, it definitely doesn't have the power to uh, create any serious pressure. But... Even that's, you know, quite a bit of pressure, good enough that, you know, with a brush and your scrubbing, you know, it would definitely make a big difference. But let's see if we can make it a little better. All right, so I think I fixed it. Um, I basically just uh, went back and got a pump double the size. So we'll see how great this works here in a moment. Make sure we face this away from us. So, uh, so that is quite a bit more pressure. I think definitely this is uh, much more doable. I think that right there will work. All right, so just to test how great it works, um, I'm going to take, this is an old AC compressor from one of my cars. I've got a lot of grease and dirt and grime and stuff on it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the hot water, the pump. I might use the brush attachment, see how that works. Good old Ajax dish soap really cuts the uh, grease really great, so let's see how that works.
So it doesn't work perfect. Obviously not as great as, you know, a you know, few hundred dollar machine that could clean all this stuff. But there are several benefits. I do have high pressure, soapy water going past my parts. It is working. I'm just having to do a little work, you know, a little scrubbing. Maybe a uh, nozzle with a little bit stiffer brush. But you know, the best part is, is I've got scalding hot water and my hands are not in the water. This is uh, 10 times better than the way I would have done it before. And uh, you can see a pretty good difference of how much better it got.